the horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of, of slain and a great number of carcasses. And there is none in of their corpse. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of the whoredom of the, the well-favored harlot. Of the well-favored favor, harlot, the mistress. Yeah, the, the well-favored harlot. And when you when you when you uh go into the book of Revelations, it says that this is this is a woman that uh committed whoredoms, you know, with all of the other nations, because the, the other nations are, are laying there in bed with Babylon, you know, in bed meaning uh, meaning that, that they're making their money off of Babylon. Every everybody's are uh, everybody. It doesn't say in Detroit. It's called running bustos, you know. Everybody's running bustos on America. God, the whore that sitteth upon many waters in uh, Revelation 17 and 15, and the and the, and the, uh, the waters the waters represents all of you nations and people. Yeah, you people. Go ahead. Uh, the mistress, uh, because of the multitude of the whoredom of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that sell it. There you go. That's that sorcery that we were talking about. You know this place get rich off a uh, sorcery. You know dealing with the dealing de 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 uh, dealing with the spiritual demon Satan. You know which which is so called white man is Satan himself, but but on a physical sense. But there's a, there's a spiritual demon Satan, and that spiritual demon Satan that's the one that they that they deal with. Go ahead. The mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms, and families through her witchcrafts. Families. Families. Israelite family through her witchcraft. Go ahead, huh? Television. Yeah. Um, Behold, I yeah, am because that, that that's that's going into how they advertise things on on the TV. You know? And, and no no matter what country they are, they, they advertise it in their language. You know? And now they got the internet. You know, the the internet they advertise things through the internet as well. They they got something they got something uh with it with the cable boxes to where it basically what it does is it uh it monitors the household or monitors the person in the house and, it, and now it can track and know what you like and what you don't like so therefore it can send advertisements to your house or to to your computer based upon the things that you like that that's that's sorcery right there man right. Uh, this is gonna read a little precept with that this is a uh, Exodus 22 and 18 so what he said the mystery of witchcraft so what the Most High said about a witch he says uh, this is the Exodus 22 and 18. It says, Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So, do you think that the Most High is going to allow <laughs> 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 the Most High? You think the Most High is about to let the witch, uh, this witch, this bitch live? Let me get this one. Uh, go, go ahead, finish up. Behold, I am against thee, said it, Yahweh, hope, uh, Lord of hosts. And I will discover thy skirt upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. There you go. Can you grab uh, Isaiah 47? Because the Lord is making this place uh, bare, man. The Lord is uncovering. Uh, uh, matter of fact, can you get it out? Uh, Isaiah 47. And the most, the most high is uh, is revealing all of the iniquities and sins and the wickedness of uh, Babylon. You know, the, the most high is is, uh, is is uncovering this place, man. Now, now this place knows, not, not everybody knows that America is, is, is fucked up, that it's a deceitful country, that it's wicked. And America is, is ran by who? America is, is, America is ran by so-called white men. And everybody know that these places, that, they, that these people are deceitful. And I, everybody knows not to enter into a contract with the so-called white men, except you niggas. Hey. Um, Prince, like he had a big thing with that. He was uh fucking with uh was uh Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers that. You know, he was he was known for that, you know, that uh oh, signing God. contracts and whatnot. God. He was real weary of that shit because you know it's uh, the devil, the so called white man fucking people over. You know, that's just something he wouldn't do and and I guess now, you know, with the will situation coming out, I guess they, they hint they using that to say, Oh, this is why he probably didn't, you know, come right. out with a will and this and that because he didn't trust, you know, trust people, trust anybody. 
back. But, babe, but the scripture says that in Isaiah, I believe that's Isaiah the 28th chapter. It says, your covenant with death shall be disannulled. Because, hey, because, hey, I mean, you, 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 you tribes, you, you know, you're making covenants with the, with the so-called devil because you're, you're hoping to make money. But all of these, every, everybody is catching wind by way of the internet. They, in, in by way of the prophets prophesying on the internet. And, and, and also from them getting fucked up from America for so many, so many, uh, so many different times throughout the years. They know not, not to make cut, contracts with this place. So, they, so all of the wickedness of this place is being uncovered. And it's being uncovered before the whole congregation, like it says in the Proverbs, the 26th chapter. Your, your wickedness shall be shewed uh, before the whole congregation. Go ahead. Isaiah 47 verse 1, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make that bear. That means, take the millstone and grind meal, that means that, means that, uh, that the, the elites of this place are going into slavery, as well as all of the other, uh, the, all of the other uh, uh, white, so-called white people. They're going into slavery. And we read earlier how, how uh, the grinders shall cease. The grinders that are in this place are, are, are the people, the lower class. Those rich, upper, elite class, those people don't work, man. Those Rothschilds don't work. So, but guess what? Hey, when we when, when this, this rulership is translated, you best believe that we're going to work the shit out of them, man. We're going to work the fucking soles off your feet. That's right. And you know how they, how they how they wear out the soles of our shoes? And you got Jake that that get, that got to work. They ain't got no car because they can't afford it. And they got to walk to work. And they, and they got holes in the bottom of their shoes. And we're going to work holes in the bottom of your fucking feet, man. That's how bad we're going to work. We're going to work the fucking skin off the off the, um, the, the, the the inside of your, the palm of your hand. And guess what? If you if you give us lip, we're going to fucking work the skin off your back. That's we're right. With the whip. Boy. Uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. There you go, that's the point, that's the point. Go ahead. Uh, just, to, just to finish uh, this last verse. Um, I will show the nations thy nakedness, and the kingdoms thy shame. I will cast abominable filth upon thee and make thee vile, and I and will set thee as a gazing gazing stock. That was basically it. Yeah, you had thirteen. Okay, grab Isaiah fourteen one. Can you read that uh, verse six in there? Isaiah forty seven verse six. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. So it was, it was the most high that, that, uh, that allowed us to, to go into slavery by the so-called white men. It was Yahweh because when you go to Deuteronomy 28 15, he said, hey, if we didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments, these are the curses that will come upon us. Go ahead. Now, but, oh, Salaki, another point to make, though. The other captivities that we went into, the, the people that ruled over us, they showed us mercy, man. They, they showed us mercy. They didn't have a perpetual hatred against us like the so-called white man did. So eventually, we were allowed to go home. The only two times that that, that, that happened, uh, that, that, that uh, we wasn't shown mercy in captivity, that was Egypt and that's now. That's the reason why the Lord said that this place is going to be like Egypt when he, when he destroyed it. No longer shall they say that the uh, greatest of uh, Yahweh that brought the children of Israel out of Egypt. But great is Yahweh that brought the children out of the north country. And this place is Egypt. So what did the Lord do to Egypt? He brought them plagues upon it. But greater, greater, is a, a greater is, is Yahweh that brought the children of Israel out of the north country. He gonna do greater things to this place than he did to Egypt. Boy. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, hast thou verily laid thy yoke. So it don't matter, man. You can be fucking 65 years old and you still have to work in this society. They're, they're constantly raising, uh, uh, raising the, the, the age of retirement. They're constantly raising uh, the age for you to receive Social Security, which that ain't shit anyway, because they paying you FRNs. That's not real money. They're not paying you in gold. They're not paying you in silver. So guess what? Hey, you, you, hey, even in your old age, you, you fucking labor for free. 
But the scripture said, uh, even upon the ancient have they heavily laid their yoke, man. So they, don't, so they don't care if you're 72 years old. You still got to pay bills, man. If you're 72 years old, you should be taken care of. You shouldn't have to work, man. Verse 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Verse 8. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given the pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Verse 9. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come... They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. It says that they should come upon you in their perfection, which means that none of them are going to be slack to, to the fullness of, of, uh, of, of its capacity. That's what that means by perfection. You know, it's n n none of it is going to uh, going to fail, and none of it is going to be slack. You know, and it says, thou, thou that dwellest carelessly. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in, the own, in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall plead to the house of Jacob. God, because, because uh, the, the strangers being joined unto them, that's, that's them tri the tribes of Israel. You know, that they were considered strangers. Go ahead. Verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of, of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives who captive they were. Yeah, yeah so upon the, the, the ancient of days have you heavily laid your yoke. It, because, because you did that and you took the Lord's people into slavery, you're going to go into slavery yourself. But before you go into slavery, and the scripture says, Thou that dwellest carelessly. Well, what's, what's going to happen? Because this place, it doesn't have a, 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 a great missile defense system. Uh, uh, they, they say that, that, uh, that China got weapons, uh, not China, but Russia got weapons that are so advanced. You know, if, if this was like uh, 10 years ago, they would have considered it uh, sci-fi or futuristic. Um, America's uh, uh, weapons or, or, so, or Missile defense system is so outdated, you know, it can't keep up with all of this different technology. So the scriptures say that over two million missiles are going to hit this place. You, you, there's no way that you can fight against that. There's no way that you can defend this place. That's the reason why this place is going to look like the lake of fire. Um, they said they missed defensive and they have any they, they they're dependent on their missile their, their, their missile defense system which is an interceptor missile which is the, they're going to try to blow up the missile that's what they're going to try to do they're, yeah. they're going to try to intercept the missile and then they think they got a, they, that's basically their shield that's not going to be able to the, these missiles that they got now i got i just ran into an article that the missiles that they got the chinese and uh and the russians got they do not just fly in the rainbow they fly, and if a missile try to come and intercept, it'll move out the way. This is this is technology that they're talking about. Hey, that's the reason why the scriptures say none of them shall break rank. I got it right because here. Because right? <laughs> yeah. God, there's nothing there. Uh, yeah, we'll go there with it. Good. That's safe. <laughs> that ain't nothing but safe. And it's also nothing for you know other nations to jam your radar system and stuff like that, so you can't even detect them. That's 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 light. That's light for the most side to do that. God, it's, it's nothing, and, and that's what the brother said. It's already been. It's, it, it, it's, it's no way that because the spirit of the Lord is going to be in those missiles, and you're not going to be able to. None of them, none of them going to move out of out of this place, man. It's going to stay. They're going to stay. They're going to they're going to uh, stay. Um, to their course, they're not gonna. They're not gonna move out of their course. This is uh, Joel uh, two and seven. It says they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall uh, like men of war, and uh, they shall they shall march every one of his of his own ways, and they shall not break their ranks. So the 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 missile the missile defense system 
is not gonna do shit. Just it's gonna bullshit. blaze right through right that through. shit. And like you said, the Russian, the um, the uh, China, China, China has that missile that evades other missiles.